A really simple three-in-one jig for your table saw. This one simple jig can be used for three different things. To have it be a tall fence, I simply put these grooves that I've done on the back. I would just drop these match fit dovetail clamps down into those grooves and secure it to the fence. Can't be much easier than that. Second jig is as a board straightener. Let's suppose that I want to joint on the edge on this board or get it to be straight. I just need a way to hold it onto an already perfectly straight item and that would be my jig. So I slide this in here. I want to be nice and secure all the way across the length of the workpiece. Put those match fit dovetail clamps in there. And using my tall fence jig, which also works as a board straightener, I've now jointed this edge. I obviously would just turn that over, put it up against my fence, and joint the other edge. Third use of this jig, a tapering jig. What I'm going to do is taper this piece of red oak. I wanted to I put this with a dark marker so you could see it. I marked it down there so I can see where to align that with the board. Hold that in place. Insert my match fit dovetail clamps. Tighten that down. Take it where I want it to just touch the board. Move in the other clamp. Tighten that down. I'm ready to go. Bring it over to where that's gonna just touches the uh, blade but is not pressed against it, so it's nice and slippery there. Pull this back a smidgen. There we go. But that's how you taper a board. How did I make this? Effect, effective super duper. Oh, it was so hard! I had to take a piece of plywood, three quarter inch plywood, Baltic birch would probably be good since it's a long term jig. Make sure that one edge is perfectly straight. Once you got that, you can make the other edge perfectly straight just by running it through the table saw. I simply then used a, uh, a dovetail jig that I got from a micro jig that's part of it's a uh, quarter inch on the top, half inch on the bottom, 14 degree uh, slope. And I set it to go into the workpiece three eighths of an inch. And then I can put those grooves anywhere I want to. I don't need T-track for all this stuff to, in order to accommodate clamps. That's it. Then these uh, match fit dovetail clamps uh, these two cost $45 total. You probably already got the, do the dovetail bit. If not, you need to buy that as well. And you're ready to go. Straight board, dovetail grooves, dovetail match fit dovetail clamp for micro jig. And you've got yourself a tall fence, a board straightener, and a tapering jig without any fancy secondary fences on top of it or anything. And that's what I call an effective three-in-one table saw jig. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.